really special yoga swings. I make them. They're designed to be super stretchy and super comfortable. So the first thing I want you to do is notice how much give there is. It's really different than other yoga swings. So sometimes people get in and really drop and they're like, whoa. So I always like to first mention that. Super stretchy, right? It's actually nice and thick and it spreads out. And this really will allow you to get into positions more comfortable. And so it's totally okay if we're in something and it feels um, intense. Sometimes the intensity is what's supposed to be happening. But it's also totally okay to make adjustments. And we keep it like a nice, small, intimate group so you can have lots of attention. So feel free to be interactive and ask me questions. That's totally okay. Um, we also have the leg loops that spread out and then hand holds. There are daisy chains and carabiners that are holding everything up. They're all adjustable. So the first thing we want to do is test out the equipment and make sure everybody's happy with their swing. I'm just going to let you know, John, this is a little bit of a special system here that has two sets of leg loops that makes it extra comfy. So that gives a little bit more surface area for people who might have a sensitivity either for stagnation in the legs or lymphatics or injury. We give them lots of cushions. That helps them to go deeper and, and be as comfortable as possible. Um, you might, as it warms up, want to lose the jacket, that kind of thing. Otherwise, it might just fly around. No big deal. Everybody's wearing perfect clothing, nice and comfortable. It's really helpful to have long pants and long shirt just to have a little extra cushion for the skin. Otherwise, it does like some myofascial release, you know, and you'll get that, that stretch. Um, it's not too bad, but, you know, it's something that we have to get used to. It's just pressure on parts of the body that are extra sensitive and don't normally get that, that much attention. So you'll be sore in all kinds of places you didn't know existed, but our goal with the swing is to really support us to go deeper into back bends, inversions, open up the spine, create some more space in the body. It's going to be super easy, beginner level, chill. I like the Sunday chill day. You know, so we'll try some fun things for sure, but we really just want to have maximum fun and play safe and just get a nice experience with the swing. So thank you guys for being here who are new, and thank you guys for coming back. Um, the first thing we're going to do, my swing's a little bit higher because it's super stretchy, but we're going to, most of the time, you can easily get your arms around the swing, and then you want to put it low on the upper back. Does that make sense? So it's going to be on the upper back, but not directly under the armpits, kind of like below the bra line, even if you guys that are male in the class know where the bra is. So just <laughs> pull it down. And then go ahead and sit straight down. And you lean back just slightly, right? So you want to get it kind of locked in. Use your arms. I call this a forearm press. And now drop your hips. So feet are going to be towards the front of the mat and turned out slightly. So walk your feet forward. That's a nice. So we want to use the cue of the circular mat to know where we are in space. And this is really helpful. So we're going to stop moving in the linear movements, like front and back and side to side. But we're going to start using some of the spin and the angular momentum of the body. So it's totally different. We start opening up to multidimensional space this way. So let's just first get, get acquainted with our new friend here. It's like any relationship, we want to build trust and we want to get familiar slowly. And there will be a tendency to want to like wiggle around a little bit. It's totally fine. Check it out. And then I will give you instruction on how to adjust the swing easily without having to like wrestle too much. But it's okay at first to just kind of give it a try and figure it out. So most of the time when we're in this position, you guys look great. People are pushing their hips up. Now if we really want to get the maximum benefit from the swing, we're going to drop our hips. You guys look great. So if we want to traction the spine out of the pelvis, we'll create more space in between the vertebrae and it's really relieving for back pain. Upper back, lower back, neck. It should feel really good. Now you guys can stay where you are. I'm just going to come around and help to do some adjustments here. Because John, you're good. Sam, you're good. But you guys are going to come up one. So if you notice, my knees are in line with my hip. So if you're going like this, then I can't tell if the swing's in the right space. So we're going to make sure the swing is nice and low on the upper back. Yeah. And use the press. And then we want to pick up our feet. So if we pick up our feet and gently put them down, that means that I know the alignment. So yeah, so Kyo, and then is it Anya? Anya. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, I'm so not great with names, so I'm always impressed when I get So Anya, and then Harlan, I know that name really well. So the guy who I build the uh, sacred geometry play structures with his name, Harlan. Okay, so let's have you come up nice and slow. Everybody else can just stay where they are until I get to you. It's okay to just hang with them. Let me out for a second. Let me just bring this up. Okay? So I'm going to 
going to show you guys how this is done. And I'm doing this just for the people that were just trained too. So we're going to move the swing up one and see if that's enough. And when I move the swing up, I also move the light move up. Everything moves together like a unit. Okay? So I'm going to try this, and then we also have to test out the leg loops for everyone. So we'll just take like, you know, five, ten minutes in the beginning, getting everyone sorted and situated, and then you're pretty much set. We can always adjust it as needed during the workshop, but pretty much once we get it filed, we're good to go. So try that. See if it feels a little bit better. And let's have you come up. Hang on. Do this for you. No, it's totally fine. You can actually work on the ground and super low. Just for what we're doing, we're going to bring you up just one notch. So just one would be good. So you can see how you can see where see how the knees are just slightly higher than the hips. That's what you look like, and it's okay. There's no like wrong way. It's just sometimes for what the poses we're doing, it would be a little bit better, a little bit higher. And just because I made it up and do this all the time, I can usually see it pretty well. Great. Try that, and then you're good. Sometimes I have the assistants do this, and I just talk through. But it's nice to just take it slow and make sure each one is just right for you. All right. So I might have um, I might have you, Sam and Lori, help with the leg loops. So if more than one person needs leg loops. So let's all test out the leg loops next. What we're going to do is make sure we, we bring the chairs out of the way. Yeah, that looks great. Really good. So if we do need, need to make any adjust, adjustments assistance, let's put them into the corner sometimes. This way we trip over them. Okay, so let's try it again. Okay, so we sit straight down. Let ourselves hang. Can you feel the difference now? Yeah. So, I'm going to do this with excruciating detail. I know it seems like too much information sometimes, but it's, it's good to learn step by step. It'll just be, it becomes routine to get in and out then. So we're going to take the leg, one leg loop with both hands. Let's all start with the right one. Why don't we just synchronize swim here? Stay seated the whole time. Super important. Okay? Walk the left foot to center. Bend the right knee out to the side. And when you lift all the way out to the side, then pull down. So bring your hands to your foot instead of your foot to your hands. I know, it seems really far otherwise. Good, and then we straighten that out. Really good guys. Okay, now we're gonna float to both hands. We always stay hugging. So we pull down. See, if we don't pull down, the leg loop seems really high, but we pull down strongly, turn the knee out to the side. You need a little bit of core. Yeah, it's a little bit of oomph. You got it, I know. Really nice guys. So, so John, you good? Yeah. All right, great. That looks great. So, in this position, we don't want the leg loops any higher than this for everybody. Can you drop your hips a little bit for me? Yeah, thank you. Good. So, everybody, does that feel good? Pretty much really how it's supposed to feel? <laughs> so, let's go ahead and bend the knees and slide them into the back of the knees. This is called chillaxing. So, in this position, we can usually see it pretty good. If the knees are level with the chest, that's a good position. If if they're too high, we can bring them down. If anybody wants them lower, I might bring yours down one. But everybody else looks good. Yeah, it feels all right. It totally is fine, but it'll be, um, it's just a little bit of a sweet spot, like a little bit of comfort. Mm -hmm. And um, where they are, are totally fine. So when we become more advanced, we bring them up higher. When we're beginning, we bring them down a little bit. We just have a, it's, it's easier to get in and out of some poses. Okay, so this is how we're gonna get out of it. You're gonna take both hands, bring it around to this one, go ahead and get that foot back onto the floor, and then just pause there, because I'm just gonna switch it. There you go. And now we're gonna do that, reverse, put that back in. And so Sam, like I'm doing this with a lot of detail, so you can kind of talk somebody through it, because you know, people stand up and the one leg's stuck and they start jumping around, <laughs> and it's this whole little circus show. And it's okay, but we just want to make sure, you know, we play safely. So let's do that again. So both hands wrap around. Go ahead and get that one out. And then we'll adjust again. And then just notice the difference. It's like I said, it's okay for them to be a little higher or a little lower. Pull down strongly, knee out to the side. Very good. There we go. Yeah. 
Can you feel the difference? It's just a little bit easier. Yeah. yeah. Not too much. It's just four inches, but yeah. You, know, you feel good? I put a lot of pressure in all of the places. Yeah. I know. You'll get used to it. Um, so there's a couple things that we can do. If you guys want to just go into it, it would be totally fine with me to show you some tricks. Um, I'm going to get in the swing and, and do it with you. What we don't want to do is wrestle with the swing. What, what happens is it's like we have these kind of habits that we get into when we're uncomfortable. But let's find some easy grace in the swing and, like, again, create any relationship. It will get easier. So this is what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to hold on to the swing and lift ourselves up and come back down if we ever need a break. Just do that for, for one. That's one way to just, ah, okay. And then you kind of get it a little lower, right? So yeah, that's like, like lift because she's talking my arms. So I have to we're getting there. I, get, I hear you. All right. So that's one way to get the swing a little bit lower. The other way, and another way to release the arms. I got you. Like I, I, you're, you're like a hundred percent of the other people that say the same thing. So trust me, this is normal. You just lean back. So not with the hips, but with the hands and the heart. You just lean back. Now you can also shake out your hands, and then you can also bend your elbows and support your neck. So when you support your your head with your hands, this is called chillaxing arms. There you go. See, does that help? So lean back even more, head. So yeah, that's it, right there, right behind the heart. But drop your hips. Yeah, exactly. So you find that sweet spot where you let the traction through the front of the spine happen. Really good, guys. And again, it is an exploration. This is why I call it aerial yoga play. I want you to feel like you can just take time to explore and experience this way. Okay? And it'll come. It'll come and come. Can you, can you see Lori behind you? Can you look back? Um, see, see the difference? Just lean back with your heart a little bit more. Yeah, keep going. Right there. That's it. You feel the difference now? Yeah, it just slides in right behind like the bra strap. Yeah, good. Now see if you can keep the swing in the upper body where it is. Now drop your hips. Lift your head and press your arms into the swing. Yeah, keep the lift in the chest. If we're going to actually start to um, correct the posture, all the roundedness that from sitting in computer or driving, we're correcting that with the swing. But first, it's a little uncomfortable because we're so used to those muscles being contracted. So this is the press that we use, and then the arms feel better, right? Yeah. It feels like way better when it's by the bra strap, but it's yeah. sliding up. Well, yeah, you just kind of press, right? And you can kind of get it there. We, and I, I call them locks, so we learn how to lock it in. And I do this like six hours a day, and it doesn't bother me at all. So I, I've figured it out. But yeah, if you're like this, it doesn't feel good at all. Yeah. And what happens is it, it really requires us to be engaged. So we're not losing our posture with the ears, you know, and the shoulders and all that. So engage but relax is the name of the game. There you go, Harlan. You got it. So the next thing we can do is we can spread out the leg loops. So some people are like, owie, that's too much pressure on the back of my knee. There's very sensitive kidney points behind the knees that are very healing for the lower back and any sort of knee pain. I know, right? Sweet Jesus. You're like, why don't you show me this first? I know. Feels really good. So this is another way to do the postures, and this is totally OK. As much as you can, you find that balance between dropping the hips and opening the heart. You guys are doing great. Yeah, just play. And of course, we do have some people today, so there might be some bumper cars. Watch out for one another. As much as possible, we're going to synchronize swim. And I'm going to have Sam watch out for you, because you can't see him, but he can see you. Okay, so don't worry about it too much, but we're going to just sync up. We do have just the right amount of room, but you know, Typically in a yoga class, you don't have this much room. You know, people are like squished in like little sardines. So we're actually very fortunate to have a six foot diameter around us. That's basically what the measurement is, right? Three feet radius. So that's how I, yeah, go ahead, Is it possible to keep pressing down one notch? You want it down? Sure. I like that might be more fun. Well, let's go through one more sequence and then you'll, you'll see what we're gonna do next. And then I can definitely bring it down, no problem. So what I, what I can show you now is how to grab the swing and spread it out to bring it under your bum. So if it's tangled up, you're going to have a hard time. But if you can grab the front lip, yeah, spread it out. So this is called cocooning. So if it ever really bothers you to the point where you're like, I'd either rather get out or spread it out, spread it out. <laughs> right? And so this is a nice way. It's like, ah, oh, if it's twisted, it'll be a little tough. But just see if you can transition to cocooning. There you go. 
And then go ahead, why don't we just bring our full body in. We're gonna get our arms in there, you can get your head in there. Make sure there's enough underneath your bum. So you can lift, like, lift your hips and pull it down really good. So this is cocooning. All of a sudden, this, this is the sweet spot, right? Everybody's happy. And then you can actually pull the leg loops down over your feet. Your feet are cold. <laughs> it's like a little blankie. <laughs> and we're going to start out here. So we're going to start out with some restorative. <sighs> Everybody better now? <laughs> so it's like just hold on a second and then you'll, you'll see it'll be, it gets better. Um, does anybody need anything from here? Any questions? We're good? So we want to keep our head in there. It's nice to get the head in so the neck feels supported. And what we're going to do is we're just going to windshield wiper a little bit from side to side. Hands are just resting on your lap. You can also give yourself a little bit of, hug, of a hug. Cross your arms over your chest. But just sway a little bit from side to side. Real gentle. So I made everything to be super comfy. And if you do any other sort of suspension training or aerial arts, then this feels like a piece of cake. But if you're not used to the pressure on the body, it's totally normal for it to be intense. And then you get used to it. So this is a nice place to hang out if you ever need a break. We're going to do like an hour of yoga translations, I call them. So taking traditional yoga postures and turning them into um, some high-flying, up-leveling, <laughs> inspired poses. And then from there, we'll have a little bit of play time. I'll show you some more kind of dynamic and intermediate ways to use the swing. Not too crazy, just a little something. And then we're going to have like a nice long shavasana. We'll go into like a half hour of meditation uh, where you can get into the cocoon and really relax and get the restorative benefits of the swing. Okay, so just don't be rocking from side to side with the legs in here. So to rock, which you just push one foot down and then you push the other foot down and then you alternate. Nice swagger in the swing. <sighs> Deepen the breath. Let yourself really relax just for another moment. Great. Now from here, as if as if we were laying on the ground and you're using yoga pose in the recline, we're gonna go ahead and pick the left foot up. You can keep the leg loop wherever it is and just grab the back of the shin, the ankle, the foot, the toes, wherever it's comfortable, just lift that left leg and get a nice hamstring stretch. Take a couple breaths in through the back of the body. Make it feel good. side, right leg lifts, so our foot is pointing towards the sky, just let the leg lift be wherever it is, it's no problem, hold on to the calf, the ankle, the foot, it's a real gentle hamstring stretch this one. I always like rolling the ankle around, kind of unwind any tension in the back of the legs. Good. Well, let's go ahead and let both legs come up overhead. A recline hold, almost like we're going to move to a plow pose, but we're not going to go too far. So both legs up, hold on to the back, the calves, shins, ankles, whatever feels good. Just pull the knees toward your chest. And then go ahead and bend the knees. Bend the knees and grab for the feet. So it's it's like a Baddha Konasana pose for those of you yoga. So we're just opening up the knees. We're not going to go too far because the swing is there. Just hold on. Really gentle stretching to begin. Nice. Let it feel good. Easy breezy on our Sunday afternoon here. All right, and then what we're going to do is just pull the feet up towards the sky, knees stay towards the armpits, and all of a sudden we're in a happy baby. Good. So we're going to let the back round take on the shape of the swing. Maybe tuck your chin a little bit into your chest. And 
and you build it down closer to your armpit. So this is how we can do some of the restorative in this way in the cocoon while laying on our back. It's kind of nice, right? You can put a movie on, hang out here for a couple hours. <laughs> So let's go ahead and rehearse. So we're going to go ahead and release the right leg out. We hold it onto the left while we're hamstring stretch. Straight leg if you can. It's okay to keep the knees bent. And then go ahead and switch. So extend the left leg. Right leg comes in. One more scissors. Uh, nice deep breaths. You might feel a little swagger in your swing from side to side. Just enjoy the rocking motion. try it and see how it feels. I want your arms to sprout out behind you and then go ahead and push down into your leg glutes a little bit so your fingertips are reaching away from your toes and you're going to come into a little bit of a sway from side to side. We call it fishtailing. So just wiggle your hips from side to side. Just get a nice big stretch through the whole torso. Not too much effort but slightly push the hips up towards the sky. And then if you can, we're going to reach our arms out, let the swing come underneath the arms again, and I want you to hold on to that outer lip of the swing. So you're not going to be able to see me, right, but I'm sitting inside so it's okay. Right? So get your head out, get your arms out, get it back underneath your arms, let's try it. So real gentle, what we're going to do is try a supported back bend here. Like I said, I like using the swings to, to, to back bend some inversions, so we're going to let ourselves drink down. I know it's scary when you're first learning something new. Let the swing slide into the waist. Keep holding on. And they call this label pose. So feel all the blood and energy rushing to your face, your head. There you go. Yeah, keep holding on. You're not going to go too far. And then we're going to inhale. Do a little bit of a sit up here. Do a little bicep curl and sit up and come back into the swing. Real easy. Nice. Good. Let's try that one more time, okay? At your own pace, at your own time, go ahead and inhale. And lower yourself down. When you exhale, the swing doesn't go past the waist, so it's still pretty high up over the hips. And just try a little bit of a back bending version. It's some of the best things you can do for your body. You feel how powerful they are to those hips. And one more time, inhale, do a bicep curl, a little sit up. Come on, let's go. Really good, guys. Does that feel good? Yeah, a little intense, I know. And then what we're going to do is we're going to reach your hands towards me, grab the front end, right? So just the front. We're going to try to transition. <laughs> All right, great. Okay. So what happens is I bring my legs wide, and I start to slide the swing up. So we're going to have it, like, right underneath our bum. It's okay. Is that you? No. <laughs> Should be okay. And then we're going to go ahead and let it come back underneath our arms. So we're going to wind up where we were before. Do you want to come back to this position or you're happy? Uh, I just did the first pose. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, you're making sure everything's okay. Yeah, it should be fine. I don't know what that, which part that was, but it should be okay. Okay, yeah. So pull the front up, get it underneath. Yeah, you got it. And transition back. Good. So, if you want to keep the leg width spread out, that's okay. If you want to try bunching them up behind the knees, we're going to hang out and chillax. Chillax and pose with the swing at the knees. Chillax in arms is when we clasp our hands behind our head and go ahead and sway a little bit from side to side. <sighs> Real easy breathing, right? So just be slow and gentle today. Let the rain inspire the moon. So John, if you're okay with the one set, do you mind if I try doubling up for Harlan? Please do. All right. Let's just try it. You might like it. Sure. Okay. We have that for You're good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. And we just try it. Everything's good. No, 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 no. That's a good question, but now we're going to just double it up. So get ahead and bunch that behind the knee for me. You'll really like it. And I always have one person that's like, oh, I'm just not crazy. 
about that sensation. So go ahead and put the second one on. We'll just see if that's the right. So punch it up at the top so your chest is going to get You're going to be like, oh, sweet Jesus. Yeah. So I just wanted to make sure they were both of them. Yeah. Is that better? Yeah. Nice. Okay, cool. Very good. So that is a nice way. If anybody ever needs an extra cushion when you're working with them, double up the leg loops. That usually works really well. <sighs> okay. So again, we'll, we'll come in and out of the poses. So the pressure under the arms will be forever. And every, whenever you need a break, the way to take pressure off the underarms is to lean back. Okay? So just try that whenever you need to. Try to lean back. And it's always such a good to, to enjoy the kind of support and back bend a little bit more. So I mean, I'm just going to make a slight adjustment for you because it'll just feel a little bit better. So go ahead and come into chillaxin arms. So clasp your hands behind your head. <laughs> cool. And then this is where you want to be. Go ahead and rest your head right there. Clearly, right? Because there's all this congestion up here. And the swing will help heal that, but it'll take some time to get used to it. But that's a much better position for you. Okay? Good. So just a little bit of shift in the swing will make a huge difference. Very nice, guys. Okay. So we're in relaxing, hanging out. You good back there, Amber? Nice. So let's just kind of come into a simple pigeon pose. So we're going to take our right knee, keep it bent, grab the right foot, and just hook it over. Okay? So from this position, we let our hips drop if we can. You can do chillaxin arms or forearm press. The more you drop your hips, the deeper the stretch. So find the right balance for you. So I call this wagging your tail when you let the bottom foot just kind of explore in space. Of course, if you need to, you can spread out the leg loops again, but this should feel a little bit better, right? Not, not so bothersome with this position. All right, one little adjustment that we can do here to go a little bit deeper is we're going to take left hand, right? Keep it around the swing, but reach diagonal for the right leg loop. Yeah, good. You got it. And we're going to pull. This arm can be relaxed. This is called supermodel. If you ever just want to support your head, that's totally fine. You can do a supermodel and lean back. So the more that we pull the knee in and then kind of roll the right rib cage down towards the ground, so really good. You want to lean back a little bit into that? Yeah, there you go. That feels, does that feel a little bit better? Okay, let's go ahead. When we release, we're going to get a little momentum and then we can come right into the second side. See if we can get there. Mm -hmm. You can help the foot if you need. So left knee bends. Get the foot right in front of the leg loop. It's kind of locked in. And you're going to drop. So for you especially, I want you to start lifting your chest even more. Go ahead and get it back. Yeah. And then there are these muscles in our back called our back. And if we're not used to using them, our shoulders kind of roll up, our shoulder blade will roll up towards our neck. But when we pull them down, it'll actually start to hold the posture. So even when we're at the computer or driving, it'll start to improve that. But yeah, that looks better. There you go. Feels a little better? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll just keep an eye on you. Just feel it up. It's good. All right, wag the tail a little bit. So I made up all the names and sequences to be funny and, you know, silly and playful. So well, we're here to have maximum fun. So if you have any suggestions, I'm totally open to new names. <laughs> so the more that we just rock and hang, the more openness that we get in the body. So we want to find that balance between engaged but relaxed. Right? So our arms are engaged just slightly, but our hips are relaxed. And then we're going to get our right arm. We always wrap it around. So outside it, we hug 
the swing, the reach for that left leg is good. Yeah, sometimes, I know being very excited, sometimes people go like this and then they lost their anchor. So we always hook and then grab. You're good. Okay, lean back a little bit more from here. Yeah. Go ahead and do the supermodel. There you go. <laughs> You'll get used to it. So if you want to go a little bit deeper, you pull the knee in strongly and rotate the left rib cage down towards the ground. Yeah. Give you a different stretch. So go ahead and push your hips up on you. Go ahead and push them up and lean back a lot. Go all the way back. There you go. A little bit more. Yeah. Okay. And now go ahead and come into the side twist. See, my swing is a little bit lower than yours, and yours is up here, so that's why I'm tying the leg. Oh, it's a little bit more. <laughs> so just keep doing that so you can get it to the down underneath of the jawline. Once you get the hooks, it'll be easy to keep it there, but it's a good way to adjust. Oh, wrap around. You lost the anchor. It's very common. <laughs> Look at Lori behind you. She's really doing an exaggerated. See how low she's letting this swing go, and then drop your hips a little bit more in the middle. You drop your hips. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. That might be better, right? Yeah, and make those little adjustments as you feel like you need. Okay? Let's go ahead and come back to center. Chillax and pose. It's going to go nice and slow today. So in our chillax end, we're adding a little bit more swagger. We push one knee down, and then the other knee down. <sighs> Take a couple nice cleansing breaths. Ooh, it's so strong, and that feels good. Exhale, you clean the mouth, releasing any tension. Beautiful. Let's get into a nice, easy, chill flow. So we're going to inhale, come to center, so that the swing neutralizes. And then we're going to exhale, wrap our arms around the leg loops and hold it. See if you can just tuck. You can round your back here. We'll call it a floating child. Now we're going to inhale and we're going to blossom. So go ahead and expand the arms and the legs. If you can, keep the hips heavy. The idea is we open up the heart, the upper thoracic as much as possible. Beautiful. Exhale, wrap the arms around and come back. Floating child till the time. So when we wrap around, we're kind of pulling in and then our back rounds. And then when we inhale, we arch and we open. So then we're kind of undulating the spine. Exhale, come back in. Use your own breath to create the movement. Child's. Just a few more times like this. So this is called star. So we expand into star. You can do a little jazz hands, which feels good. Palms facing up. Shake out your arms and hands a little bit. Flex your fingers back. Great, so this is half of our chill flow. We're gonna add a few more things onto it here. We're gonna inhale and blossom for star, expand. When we exhale, we're gonna squeeze our legs together. So that's your step one. Step two is wrap your arms around the swing and come into prayer. Yeah, so this is namaste. There you go, that's totally fine. And then you're just, push your hips up towards the sky and lean back. So this is reverse namaste, so your forearms are hooked, right? And then you can stretch the front of the neck and shoulders, which should feel really nice. Ah, beautiful, guys. Go ahead and exhale. Sink the hips back down. Open up to a T. All right. So wrap your arms around hard and like this in front. Okay. Let's all try it one more time. Squeeze the legs together. Hands together. And then press your hips up towards the sky. Let your forearms catch. And then you can let the neck shoulder stretch. Yeah. Beautiful, guys. Nice long lines of energy through the body, from the toes to the fingertips. And then exhale, sit back down, go ahead and open it up. Ah. So we're working up to doing inversions, right? You can see like the intensity of how we make these different lives. All right, we're going to add one more. We're going to try another ladle. So inhale, see the arms. Exhale, come into a child's pose. If you can, just pull in. 
Black is in here. There we go. Inhale, blossom for star. Expand. Exhale, squeeze the legs together. Squeeze the hands together into prayer around the swing. Keep the hips up the whole time around the swing. Hardly wrap your bunny arms around. Yeah, so we always hook and then we compress. So now our forearms are holding us and we can get a bigger stretch. Now stay here if you're happy, but if you want to go a little further, your hands hold on to the swing. And then you slowly and gently let it slide into the waist, and then you're going to come into ladle bend. So you did this when we were in the cocoon. We're going to try it here. So your hands can stay holding on the whole time. If you're comfortable in ladle, you can bring your hand to the ground and try getting a full extension. But don't go too far, just a little bit today. And then when you're ready, we're going to inhale, do a bicep curl, little, little sit up position. Drop the hips. So every time we drop the hips, the head comes up. Every time we lower the head, the hips come up, right? So we're like this lever, like a little seesaw in the body. Does that feel good? Does anybody need my assistance in getting in and out of that? Let me just check on the tuning screen and see what happens. So let's try it one more time. I'm just going to keep an eye on you. So kind of inhale, T the arms, kind of open it up for a T. And then exhale, wrap around the child. Hug in. I wonder what happened to my feet. So from here, star, blossom, open up the heart. Let it feel really good to expand. Palms up in the gesture of youth activity, extending the arms and legs. Beautiful. Now go ahead and on an exhale, squeeze the legs together. Hands come to prayer around the swing. Push the hips towards the sky. There we go. Beautiful. Hold on with the forearms. Really nice. For those that want to go deeper, go ahead and hold on to the swing. And then kind of lower down so the swing will slide into the waist. Yeah, keep holding on. We have our little anchors there. If you want to come into the full extension, your hands can come to the ground, palms up, long arms. There you go. Squeeze the legs together. Squeeze the legs together. Feel the long line of energy. Beautiful. From the toes all the way to the crown of the head. Now, this is a big posture, so go ahead and inhale and come up and swing the hips back down. Okay. Expand the swing if you need. Take a little break. I can reset those somehow and start with a new tension. Let's put on some Hawaiian radiance. <laughs> Maybe that's the way. <laughs> but we need some aloha. <laughs> aloha here. All right. Let's give this another second. Take a break. Chillax in arms. Sway it out from side to side. You're doing really great back there. Are you having fun? Yeah. Great. Cool. All right. I might just switch it out and play my phone with the top of the clock there. So the more that we can let our body come into swagger and move from side to side, the more it's going to open up all the connective tissue. So let that feel good. Just hands, uh, hands clasped behind your head, elbows square out wide, and then lean back. So opening up the heart. Yeah, lean back. See, you're getting it. See, this is in a much better position. Lean back even more with your head. Yeah, just like that. That's beautiful. Does that feel way better? Yeah, yeah you got it. Yeah, and we learn how to like work with it, like I said, just like any new thing, we're going to take our time to really get the positioning, and that's okay. I wonder if I'm finding it easier when I do it. Does it feel like it's any different? I don't know. I just have never really... Trust me, it is perfect. It's in the perfect position. Um, yeah, for some reason the internet went down, that's what happened, so I'm going to go ahead and put on a playlist for us. So just take a moment here as I handle the little music change and just explore and play. Is there anything else that you want to do? Do you want to get back into the cocoon for a second and enjoy that? <laughs> so there we go. Let's switch it up. Pandora's on break. <laughs> really nice. This is going to be our last pose, and then we're actually going to come out and take a little break from it being under our arms by request. <laughs> so just take a moment to sway it out from side to side again. So I like taking long, dramatic pauses in between poses so we can really integrate the experience we just had. Even though you haven't done very much, we really stimulated the lymphatic system and the endocrine system, opening up the front of the spine, kind of working with the energetic centers of the chakras. It's a lot to open up the front of the spine. It's really powerful. Mm -hmm. So as much as possible, we're just going to be easy about 
about it today. I call it the accidental workout because it's like fun fitness. You just wind up getting like in shape and maximum benefit. We don't have to do a whole lot. Okay, so from here, sitting in our cocoon, we're gonna go ahead and release our leg loops. So let our feet dangle towards the ground. Hold on to the side of the swing and help yourself up to a seated position. Get your landing gear ready. I'm going to go to swing steering that. I, just, I, uh, I have a little swing that I can do from position. It'll be okay. And then we're going to wrap our arms around. Get it, get it underneath one more time, then we'll go and go. Just one more time. And then when we come to stand, we're going to walk our feet out into a wide straddle forward fold and then hook at the elbows. Oh, yeah, there we go. So we slide in really good. So I like to do the, the heels out, toes in position for this. Whoa, that's exciting. We'll have a little, <laughs> we'll have a little dark yoga in a minute. <laughs> Pray for the light. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> By the moonlight of the new moon. Okay, great. So just uh, sway it up from side to side a little bit here. So trace the shape of the semicircle with your eyes. So it's different than just a normal side to side. And so if you lean forward, I call it peppermint patty. <laughs> you get the sensation in your shoulders. We're going to keep our hips, our, our hips over our ankles. So you can sink back a little bit more if you just lean forward. Just let this happen. It's like a nice breeze coming through here. Really good, guys. Okay. So wide straddle forward folds. Let's just go through a little sequencing here. Really easy. Again, we're not going to do too much strengthening, but we could really use the swing to help us open up the shoulders and go deep. But we're going to just try to be as gentle on the body as possible. Yes, the swing will catch you if you go too far in one direction <laughs> or the other. We're going to use our balance. Release the left hand down to the ground. We're just going to straighten it and then place the hand right underneath the heart. Okay. So we're going to come into some twists here. So pull down with your right elbow and we'll go Bring out the spine. So if you can keep the line of energy from your tailbone to the crown of the head like a pillar of light, it's really helpful Then you can twist on axis. So the elbow is pulling down strongly. You're making a fist to really engage with that right hand. And then only go as far as it's comfortable through your neck today. You can roll your head around a little bit here. You can look down towards your left hand if that's better. Just find a place where you can take five deep breaths. So we're going to help have the swing help us go deeper into the twist. Very good. And then come to the center, look forward, straighten the right arm out and just catch the swing with your hand. Okay? Yep. And then we're going to pull it overhead. So you kind of twist the swing so there's an X and then thread your hamster. Clasp the fingers if it's comfortable and hang. Now if anybody has some shoulder tightness, it might feel better to bend the elbows a lot. If you can do straight arms, that's the more advanced position. So just see if you can drop the heart. Keep pushing into the outer edges of the feet. That's really great. Bending the knees is okay if that feels better. Your lower back should be supported here, which is really different than normal, normal forward fold. So there should be no back pain. Everybody's back happy? Pretty much? Yes? And then the head is in line with the body. So instead of dropping the head, keep that pillar of light. So from the tailbone to the crown of the head, one straight line of energy. Okay. So we'll just do a little bit of um, opening up the underbelly of the arms, I call it. Okay. We're going to strengthen that part. We're going to inhale and push our arms down to the ground, nice and slow, come to stay. All right. One more time, drop down. So when we get to the bottom, nice and slow, you can feel your arms working here. You're going to pause and let the heart sink down. Long line of energy, and then one more time, inhale, pulse up. Press, press, press. Good. When you come to stand, straight up and down, left arm can release. We go over the top and hook. Second side. Good. The X will come out. We drop in. We're going to be hooking at the forearm. So we get into position first, hand in the center, right underneath the heart, long line of energy in the spine, and then go ahead and inhale and twist the look, look towards the sky. Left arm pulls down the line.
five long, deep, luxurious breaths. So we inhale and lengthen, and then exhale and twist. Again, inhale deeply, exhale, go ahead and bring out the spine. Good. All right, next inhalation, we're just going to straighten the left arm, and there's going to be no X this time. We hold on, and we bring it overhead. Grab with both hands and then bend the elbows a lot. A little bit of a different stretch. And what we're going to do at first is I call it like weeping willow is when we, we get this nice little sway, this undulation from side to side. You can bend the knees, just kind of hang out and play a little bit in the space. See if there's something the body would like to experience. Maybe open up some of that stickiness that's underneath the rib cage, underneath the subscapula. So this part of the body hardly ever gets this kind of attention. So just enjoy dropping into it, let gravity do the work as much as possible. <sighs> nice, guys. Great. Okay, great. So once we get to neutral, after our exploration, we're going to inhale and press and straighten the arms and come up again. A little bit of strengthening of this underbody. And then exhale nice and slow, bend the elbows in. Just one more breath, we're gonna come up. Inhale, press, 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 straighten the arms. All the way up to stand. Okay, we're gonna just heel toe together. So let's give the arms a break. Okay, we're gonna pull the swing down as far as possible. Now this might be where I can lower it for you. You might be happier with it lower. But we want the swing at the hips. Okay, if the swing is too high, you will notice, because it'll be hard for it to come down. Um, Sam, you're, you're kind of tall. Yeah. Will you go ahead and just take these down one for me? I can just about reach yeah, them for you down one notch. Okay, everybody good? We're going to try some forward folds. Okay, so swing is going to be at the hips. We're going to lean forward. Try to keep your feet on the ground. It's a forward fold. We're going to float in a minute. But go ahead and, and drape your head towards the ground. Bend your elbows and shake. It should feel really good to hang by the hip flexors. It's, if the swing is on the belly or the bladder, it's not going to feel that great. That looks good. Bend the elbows a lot if you can. So our heels are not on the ground. We're actually pouring the weight over. So instead of moving your feet, we're just going to let you, yeah, we're going to let you drink a little bit more. <laughs> there you go. I know it's a little bit of a trust thing. But see how much closer your head is to the ground now? So in this pose, what happens is we start to get a little bit more honest about bending in the hip flexors instead of the waist. And then you can see that the torso is actually the same length as the legs. That looks great. Walk your feet to the center of the mat for me. Mm -hmm. Hip distance. There you go. And then walk your hands forward. Let your body hang a little bit more. Walk your hands forward a little more. Up. Yeah, like that. Yeah, good. Nice. So let your weight drape forward. Keep your feet on the ground. Okay, so your feet are going to be at the center of the mat. You need to walk it back. Yep. So walk your feet to the center of the mat. Okay. And now lean forward. Lean forward. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Hold on to my foot now. Sorry about that. Bend your elbows. Oh, I know it's a big stretch, huh? So your heels are going to come up. The belt thing. The jeans might be a, you know, we're going to get you some sweatpants next time. Does that feel good? Intense, right? We're not used to getting this much of a stretch. That's great. Yeah, that's really good. Very good. It's actually important to get the, the benefit of the pose. So are your hamstrings tight? That's why you're bending the knees? What's happening? Um, it's just like, it's how I feel. Feet here? Relaxed. Yeah, yeah, there you go. We went you on a diagonal. That's, that's why I was asking. That's good. That's where it is. So you look like you're open enough, right? But if you want to keep the knees bent, that's good. Always hip distance with the feet. Turn the heels out slightly and toes in. That's like called pigeon pose. Now, just like the sensitive spot underneath the arms, we have sensitive spots in the hip flexors, right? <laughs> so you're getting a nice little free rolfing session with the swing as it starts to massage the hip flexors out. So... Now that you're upside down, Lori, I need you to follow along, okay? So now that you're upside down, you can follow Lori 
if you need a visual cue, we're going to all do this together. So in the forward fold, you can stay where you are if you're happy. If you want to go a little bit deeper, go ahead and reach back and grab for your ankles. So keep leaning forward, grab for your ankles, and pull your chest towards your knees. Not your head, but your chest. And Lori, you have to lean forward so you're on your toes and not your heels. Lean forward, Lori. Yeah, there you go. So your feet are not grounded. We're up on our, the balls of the feet. Take a moment to let gravity have its way. Maybe shift a little bit from side to side to get a little bit more length. Good. Shake out the head, shake out the neck. And let's all do a nice neck stretch here. So we're going to clasp our hands behind our head, release the ankles, and get some space in the cervical spine. I know we're not used to going this deep <laughs> with the back body, but it really makes a huge difference to retrain the lower back, relieve back pain by bending in the hip flexors. Okay, now go ahead and sway it out a little bit more from side to side. Okay. Get a little swagger in the swing. Really easy. The more sway, the deeper the massage in the hip flexors, <laughs> as you can tell. Okay. So now you're going to release your neck, walk your hands forward, so let your hands come off the mat. So we're going to just extend into a V-shape for a down dog. Okay? So now that we're in our down dog, we're going to get a, go ahead and inhale and pull forward, arch and open. Exhale, round in and look towards your navel. So we're going to do five of these, where they're, I call them the cat's meow, so the down dog and a cat meow back together. Arch and open, and then exhale and press and look towards your navel. Inhale and lift. Exhale and round in. Just two more here. Inhale, lift. If you want to adjust the swing, go ahead and lift one leg and then lift the other leg, and it will slide down into the sweet spot. So whenever you need a little adjustment, go ahead and just do that real quick. There is a spot that feels better than others. <laughs> See if you can find it. And then one more time, inhale, arch and open. And then exhale when we round in. We're going to just take a little break, and I call it happy dog. So you're just going to go ahead and sway it out from side to side a little bit. So all of that tightness that happens in the lower back and all that tightness that happens in the shoulders, we're starting to work it out. Just kind of getting in there and erasing the sticky spots. Now let's let ourselves float. So you're going to walk your feet back to the back edge of the round mat. Come and drop onto your forearms. And then you can see Lori. Lori, keep your legs straight, hon. Follow along for me. Okay, so feet do not go higher than the hips. Lower your legs so they're one foot from the ground. So Keo, all the way down. Thank you. So just one foot from the ground. Really good. This is called floating leaf. So Lori, your legs are a little bit higher. One foot from the ground. Thank you. <laughs> we can always switch if you want, I don't mind. So go ahead and sway it out a little bit from side to side. It feels good to get a little swagger in the swing here. So a little less intense, right? So can you let your feet float? Come onto your forearms, Harley. There you go. Yeah, good. <laughs> You're like, this is not my favorite. <laughs> We're going to switch it up soon. Just stay with us. All right. So from here, you can actually bend the knees if you want. Just try bending the knees if you're on your forearms and see if that's a little bit better. So knees are heavy though, bring your knees down a lot. So we're preparing to get into a little bit of a supported headstand. So Sam, I want you to just like turn every once in a while and look towards Keo and help her get her legs down, okay? So you're gonna keep an eye on people while you're doing this if you don't mind. Just kind of point, say, you know, do, do some cues. Thank you. So we, if we float up too high, we actually lose our anchor and we can slide out. So it's kind of important. There you go, John. Good job. So if anybody likes headstand, go ahead and clasp your fingers and create a little tripod. And then you can rest your head on the ground. Mm -hmm. Try bending the knees if it feels good. There you go. Let your head be on the ground. Yeah, perfect. 
So a headstand is a pose that's really challenging to get in and out of. So it's really nice to have the swing to help support us through these transitions. Isn't that amazing? All of a sudden, we're in a headstand. Do you want to bend your knees, Anya? Are you good? Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Really good, guys. Let's just take a few breaths here. Is everybody comfortable now? <laughs> Relatively speaking. You guys look good. <laughs> <laughs> as comfortable as you're going to get. <laughs> All right, great. All right, so let's come out, come out nice and slow. First, we're just going to inhale and expand the legs towards the floor. You'll notice your head comes up, and then go ahead and straighten the arms and land it back on the down dog. Awesome. So long arms, long legs. We're in a V shape in the body, right? Let's go ahead and lift the left leg up. Sky. Hook the foot on the outside of the swing. See if you can do it. If not, I'm going to give you some cues. Yes, you did it. So keep the foot low. So the inside is, is where your foot is hardly. Bring it all the way on the outside near the leg loop over here. See if you can hook it. That's the inside. Do the other side. Yeah, all the way over. Yes. Yeah, karate kick it. You got it. <laughs> Beautiful, guys. All right, so this is a one-legged down dog. Now, if you're happy here, um, just stay. I was going to say clap your hands, but don't clap your hands. So if you want to go deeper, if you slide that foot up the one side of the leg of, of the swing, yeah, then you come into almost a version of standing splits. Don't go too far, just enough that you can still smile and breathe. Really nice. It's an amazing way to come... Nice, Harlan. Good job. It's an amazing way to come into standing splits that we would never bother you to do <laughs> otherwise. All right, let's come out nice and slow. Start to bend the knee, release the foot, come back down to our down dog. Happy dog. Wag your tail just a little bit. Shake it out. Do some loopy loops, figure eights, whatever feels good. Awesome. Second side. Okay, lift the right leg up. So if you if you liked that sequence, you can hook your foot again. It's okay to just lift your leg and leave it there if you're like, I'm good. But if you want to hook outside in, nice job. Then we're going to stay here in our one-legged down dog, and then we can make it even more intense. We can go deeper if we start to slide that right foot towards the sky. There you go. Nice and slow. If you walk your left foot in a little bit, it's kind of easier. <laughs> just a little bit. So that's, that's a great job. Enjoy the sound of the rain for a moment. Just take a couple deep breaths. Just notice that gravity is doing the work for you. If you let gravity do the work, you get a lot of openness in the hips here. It's a big stretch. This is pretty much as far as we're going to go for today. <laughs> this is as big as it gets. I can't see you. Oh, you can't look over it. Yeah. Yeah, that's what happens when we're 10 years old. We get to do whatever we want. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we're going to have an aerial yoga play party at one time where we all just get in the swing and do whatever we want. All right, we're going to come down nice and slow. Go ahead and release the foot. Slide it down. Down dog. All right, so one more pose that I think is really fun to do is an upside down dog. So we're going to turn our crown and our dog upside down. So we're going to do the same thing, but with both legs. So you're going to bend the knees, hook the feet outside in, keep your feet close to your bum. Don't raise them towards the sky because you'll lose your anchor. So our arms are straight here. <laughs> yeah, all right. Bend the knees, pull your feet towards your bum. Harlan, your feet need to come down towards your butt. There you go. Down. There you go. Good. So if we extend the arms, that's beautiful, guys. We're in an upside down dog. If this is too much on anybody's shoulders, you just bend your elbows and come onto your forearms, and this is like a cobra pose. So pick your favorite version. And then if you want to get a little fancy, stay here if you're happy, but if you want to go from upside down dog to up dog, with straight arms, you pull your, your chest forward, shoulders are going to be directly over the wrist, and you can stretch the belly and look forward. So from up dog, we can press back to upside down dog with cobra. Really good. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Pull your feet down towards your butt. You're going to lose your anchor. 
Bend your knees, pull your feet down, thank you. All right, inhale, pull forward, up dog. I'll pretty much let you play and do whatever you want, unless you're about to slide out. <laughs> We've had a few people slide out, we don't want to do that. Awesome, so go ahead and come back and forth a few times, undulating, up dog, press back, upside down dog. Beautiful. So I don't know how many of you guys, how many of y'all practice handstands on a regular basis, but I'm just going to show you from here, from our up dog, you can hook your feet, it's really important to have your knees bent a lot, and then you can tuck. You can do a little sit up where you get your hips directly over your shoulders, and it's a great way to balance and practice, beautiful guys, practice handstand, and then you can go back into upside down dog and undulate back and forth. So. Harlan, this whole idea of sliding out that I'm telling you about is no joke. So you have to keep these up and down. Yeah, at least. Yeah, you want to float no joke. <laughs> so you want to try the handstand again? I can spot you. So walk your hands here. Don't move your feet. Leave them where they are. Thank you. So these do not move. All right, walk your hands to your head. I'll be a float joke. Yeah. All right, straight arms. You can do it. So it was no. <laughs> Straight arms. And then just tuck. Do a little sit up. Straight arms. Tuck. Yes. <laughs> oh, you got it. Try it one more time. That was good. So all you have to do is pull your hips a little bit forward over your, over, you can stay on your forearms. Yeah, yeah. So you just pull your hips a little bit forward and then back. Really easy. So don't go too far. If we make it too hard, then we're, we're, um, Instead of using the swing, we're overdoing it. So yeah, we just take it easy. Yeah. So what happens when our lower back is tight is we, we tend to want to protect it. So take it nice and easy on this part of the body until it opens. Just the headstand position will get great. Can you feel all the space that's happening in here for you? So this is starting to loosen up. So this is something that I want you to really focus on. This heaviness here. So don't move the feet. This is where the legs stay. Unless, of course, you come down. So as soon as you start floating up towards the sky, you might slide out. That's why I think it's, that's the only cue that's important. Beautiful, guys. All right, let's come on out. Come back onto your hands. Start to unleash your feet. Land it back on the ground, nice and slow. From our down dog, we're just going to walk forward. See if you can come out through angel wings. So keep tension on the swing. Come out through angel wings. And then grab the swing. Woo! Made it! <laughs> All right, guys, we're almost there. So we're going to do just a couple more minutes of fun adventure. Get a sip of water, take care of yourself, and then nice long shavasana. So you guys good for about 10 more minutes of playtime? Awesome. Let's try a couple more things. Make sure you stay nice and hydrated.